I was born and raised in Minnesota and I've lived here my whole life. We're blessed with a lot of lakes and a lot of opportunity to hunt. When I grew up, I could just walk out the back door and hunt. You know, you start out and you do the squirrels and the birds and the deer heads and all that, and it's just kind of uh, blossomed into now we do everything. We, we do everything from around the world. We do African lions and stuff from New Zealand, Australia, all over. I guess we have somewhat of a reputation of doing a pretty good job. And the thing that probably you'll see difference in taxidermists is what they do with the forms as far as cutting them up and putting them back together in different poses and that because they don't have forms for every animal and everything, every pose that somebody might want. That's where the artistic ability comes in. I was going to school to be a veterinarian and I got a job with a taxidermist and uh, thought it would go hand in hand and um, I graduated in 74, that was a recession, so I started a taxidermy shop until something opened up and here I am. It's been 40 years.